Polk County deputies say he was murdered by a FEMA contractor earlier this year. Now all his family wants is for FEMA to fix his house damaged by Irma. Nightside's Grady Trimble explains why they say so far FEMA is refusing. Bill Reese lived in his dream house on a lake in Polk City. That is until January when investigators say he and his friend Kenneth Mayer were murdered inside of it. Detectives tracked down the killers in Alabama. They say a FEMA contractor had inspected Reese's home months earlier, then came back with friends to steal his gun collection. That's how they got in, was from that FEMA badge. And that's what killed him. Now, Reese's daughter Trina Urso is trying to get his home fixed, trying but getting nowhere. She says FEMA tells her they can't pay for the repairs because the people who live there are dead. The FEMA employee killed them. On top of that, she says, the FEMA representatives on the phone don't already know how Reese died, so she has to recount the horrific details every time. It's adding salt to the wound. It's like, it's a slap in the face. FEMA wouldn't talk about her specific case with us, but they tell us generally, a disaster survivor's family members who were not directly impacted by the disaster are not eligible for FEMA assistance. It baffles me and the total disregard and insensitivity is just, it makes it so much harder. Urso understands FEMA has policies in place, but says they should make an exception in this case. There isn't always black and white. Sometimes there is a gray area and this is definitely one. And there is hope for Urso. Representative Dennis Ross heard about how much trouble she's having with FEMA. His office is working to schedule a phone call for her with FEMA to hopefully get this house fixed.